Mei Lung Fang was born on October 22, 1894, in Beijing, China. His father and grandfather were both well-known opera singers, so at the age of eight, he started studying Jing Shi at the Peking Opera. He made his first stage debut at age 11 at the Guan Ni Theater playing a weaving girl. At age 13, he joins the Zhiliang Chang Theatrical Company, where he gained a national reputation as a Peking opera singer. His style of dance in the performances he did while at the Zhiliang Chang Theatrical Company was so distinct and won such acclaim that it became called the Mei Lunfang School. He then started touring in countries such as Japan in 1919 and 1924, the United States in 1930, and the Soviet Union in 1932 and 1935. When he toured, he became friends with Charlie Chaplin, and in the United States, he visited Hollywood, where he was greeted by Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford. Mayo Fang married Fu Zifang, who he ended up having nine children with. His youngest child, Mei Baju, became a contemporary Peking opera artist, playing the Don role. He also had a mistress named Meng Jiodong, who was also an opera star. In 1937, after the outbreak of the Sino-Japanese War, Mei settled in Hong Kong, but then returned to Shanghai following the Japanese seizure of territory and stopped doing theater for a while. At this time, he became very poor. He gained his wealth back quickly when he went back to doing theater after the war ended in 1945. In 1959, May joined the, commun the Chinese Communist Party. He died on August 8, 1961, in Beijing, China. In his professional life, May had a 50-year stage career overall. He was most famous for playing the female roles in Peking opera and was the first to spread this type of opera to foreign countries. Because he played the female role, he needed a more feminine name, which is Mei Lefeng, the one we know today. His actual birth name was Mei Lan. In 1937, when the Marco Polo Bridge incident occurred during the war, the commander of the Japanese army ordered Mei to perform for them and appointed Mei to a high-ranking official position. Mei refused the position and refused to sing for the duration of the war. This was the halt in his career. After the war, he went back to being on stage and also doing movies. In 1949, he started serving as the director of the China Beijing Opera Theatre, director of the Chinese Opera Research Institute, and vice chairman of the China Federation of Literary and Art Circles. He wrote an autobiography called 40 Years of Life on Stage, and also had several of his articles published in the collected works of Mei Lingfeng. Some of the most famous performances that he has done are Bei Ninganzi in Duan Kuo, Lin Daiyun in Daiyu Zangua, Yuji in Bawang Beiji, and Yang Yuan in Guifei Zuiju. Some of Mei's best-known performances have been published in a selection of Beijing operas performed by Mei Lefeng. He has also had two movies made about his life. In 2000, a documentary was filmed about his life called The Worlds of Mei Lefeng, and in 2008, Chen Kaig, an acclaimed director, made a film biography about May's life called Forever Enthralled, where actor Leon Lai played Mei Lu Fang, actress Zhang Ziyi played May's mistress, and actress Cheng Hong played May's wife. Today, May is known as the king of Peking opera and as an essential part of Chinese culture.